If you've ever been to a military memorial service, you've heard the unmistakable tune of taps. And there is one Fox Valley man, a World War II veteran, who hears taps more than most of us. Fox 11's Becky DeVries brings us his story. Tucked away in the corner of his basement in what he refers to as the inner sanctum, at least once a day, you'll find Joe Mail practicing his passion. A fall may have taken the sight from one eye, but the accident didn't affect his love for the trumpet or his ear for music. Among mementos of his life, a political past, a military history, is Joe's prized possession. And the emotional aspect that the Lord Lord gave us with music is there's nothing like it in the world, but we're all blessed with it. And it starts from the time you and I are in our mother's stomach and you get the rhythm of the heartbeat, you know, it's there. It really is. Joe's parents gave him a trumpet when he was 10 years old. Since that day in 1936, the kids are oiled. No one has ever told him to practice. <laughs> Throughout decades of performing, there is one song Joe returns to over and over again. I really feel that the taps itself is a prayer and it should be handled as such. A prayer Joe played while serving in the Navy during World War II. A prayer Joe remembers playing for a friend he made while stationed in the Aleutian Islands. And I was standing there this one particular day, watching him come in, and uh, the motor stopped and the plane went down like a rock, and they retrieved his body. The rear seat man was never found. But uh, his name is George Belcher, and uh, that was the first time I played taps in the service. Joe has played the song countless times. This time, it's a memorial service for lives lost on the Manitowoc made submarine, the USS Legarto, during World War II. It is a serious, respectful, interpretation of we really miss you we love you and we want you to be resting wherever you are you may not notice it at first listen but when Joe plays the last note of taps he uses a little extra lung power in memory of a bugler who played for Marines lost during World War one and every time he played taps, he held the last note 17 seconds in honor of the 17 buddies that were killed. I read that at 10 years old, and any time I had an occasion to play taps since then, and including today, it's just intuitive. I think it's lovely and to listen to it and whether it's played on an instrument or if it's somebody sings it or whatever they do uh, to me it's touching and I, I feel moved by it. Joe's wife Patty hasn't been with him as long as the trumpet but the two have been together for more than half a century. She recalls singing taps as a Girl Scout and says Joe will play the anthem at her funeral. Listen to the words, day is done on the sun, from the lakes, from the hills, from the sky, what else is left? And then you say, God is nigh. And if you feel that God is close, well, that should be special. A special song Joe Mail, now 85, is privileged to play. How long will you continue to play? Why not ask me how long am I going to breathe? 
While Joe's talent may be his gift to the world, when he plays for the world, it gives him a sense of satisfaction. We have churches, we have ministers, we have our own individual faith and interpretation. But when it comes right down to it, it's the music that moves most people, if not all, irrespective of race or location. And some sort of music is significant in acknowledging one that's gone. The passion of a patriot, remembering those lost, a tradition that lives. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Joe Mayo also played Bond tours while he was in the Navy in the 1940s. He has played with Jimmy Dorsey and Mal Torm, and he plans to play Memorial Day in Oshkosh, performing with his band, The Supervisors. And you can take an interactive look at some facts about taps, the composer, the lyrics, and who can have it played at their funeral. Look in the news link section on the right-hand side of our homepage.